Just because you make your movie mysterious and twisted doesn't mean you will always end up with the right result. Spiders 2 Breeding Ground the plot for this little flick is about a couple who is brought into a horrible circumstance via storm when a cargo ship picks them up. Everyone on the ship seems friendly enough until a dark secret is revealed, then everyone starts acting like creeps. Yeah, this movie had nothing to do with the first. I've had this DVD for a very long time, and this is only the second time I've watched the damn thing. When you have a movie like this, you generally want action, suspense, and tons of spider carnage. However, what you get is cheesy action, mild suspense, and decent spider carnage. This flick is very story-driven. It's a tale of a mad scientist and his crazy experiments with spiders. He's trying to find a cure for all diseases or something. I feel that there was one or two segues from that that were cut out. There is also one too many alien franchise ripoffs in this flick. Still, this movie has some great practical effects, but the CGI is pretty crap for the most part. The gore is minimal, however, with mostly just gross-out scenes of spiders popping out of people's stomachs, a la the Alien franchise. Speaking of the Alien franchise, they try way too hard to make the lead girl in this film like Ripley, and it just comes off too cheesy. Richard Mole is great as always, and even the captain of the ship was an interesting character. The soundtrack, well, it's got some Egyptian theme going on there that I felt was really out of place. It should have been more upbeat, just like the rest of this movie should have been. Well, overall, I give Spiders 2 Breeding Ground a 2 out of 5. Lie and Brian Gatto, host of our show Movie Review. So make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below to leave comments and subscribe.